Chad Demang, a North Shore neurologist and pain management expert. Thanks for joining us. Good afternoon. Okay, so neurological medical experts say that anxiety impacts the brain, and the, then your brain in turn sends messages to you that you are dealing with anxiety. So what are some of those symptoms? Yeah, I think all our viewers are familiar with anxiety, fear, decreased sleep, decreased concentration. When you're anxious and you have high levels of anxiety, it affects everything, headaches, body aches, whatever. The CDC actually just released a report saying right now in the midst of this pandemic, anxiety is up 30 to 40 percent. I mean, it's unbelievable what this is doing to us. From a neurologic standpoint, it's really neat because we have part of our brain called a, uh, a social brain circuit. So there's structures such as the amygdala, hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, and all these cool structures talk to each other in neurotransmitters, norepinephrine, serotonin, GABA. And when you're dealing with the pandemic, what it's doing is two main things, socialization and then lack of structure. And so we can duplicate these models in animals. And when you have animals, even mice, monkeys, whatever, and they have social isolation, they have lack of structure, their chemistry changes, the, the, those parts of the brain that we discussed start to atrophy. What's really concerning for me, and I brought this up a year ago, when you look at developing brain, you look at our children who've been pulled out of school, all this Zooming social learning, it can cause irreparable damage to these parts of the brain as the brain is developing. And we see a higher incidence of mental health illness and actually dementia in adults that have this high level of social isolation and, and anxiety. How ironic that the isolation is contributing to all of this. So many people don't like prescriptions. So what are some of the organic things they can use? So we've done many talks about organic options, and I'll just name a few. Um, if any viewers want more information, I have several videos on my social media, Dr. Chad on Facebook, Instagram. Um, magnesium's a good one, 400 milligrams a day. It does, need to be, it does need to be a lactate or a glycinate because those are the ones that cross the blood-brain barrier. Uh, kava, valerian roots, good at, for sleep, uh, CBD oil, medical marijuana, L-lysine, uh, uh, passion flower. But again, I have several that are on my social media that I've discussed in more detail. And you and I always stress check with your doctor first before you try anything Absolutely. new. Uh, what about electrical sensors? So biofeedback is really cool because when you're dealing with anxiety, we think about a mental issue but you can actually measure certain things. So your heart rate, how much sweat you produce. Uh, you can stick a needle called an EMG in a muscle and see the muscle tension. So biofeedback allows you to see how anxiety is affecting these uh, muscles and, and, and sweat and so forth, and allows you to develop techniques such as breathing techniques, relaxa relaxation, so you can actually see what the anxiety is doing and try to control it and learn techniques to make it go away. Okay, and we know meditation and exercise helps, but what about the, the part that sugary foods and obesity play? How can that hurt and trigger anxiety? Yeah, again, it's seen in animal models. High fat, high sugar uh, causes hippocampal atrophy, so that part of the brain that works in the limbic system. And there's actually another um, psychiatric disease, ADHD, that's highly associated with obesity. So again, what you eat is not just your physical body, uh, but it plays a large part of your brain chemistry and neurologic structures. Some really good points today. Thank you so much as always. Appreciate it, Dr. Chad. Absolutely. You guys have a good weekend as always. Okay, you too.